world to see how afraid he is and tries to play it cool. Look at him as he just casually goes over to the sidewalk. We'll see how cool this guy really looks when he's standing in front of a judge. Suspect is now thrown down. As for the occupants of the other car, luckily, they aren't seriously hurt. This renegade burned up the streets, terrified that the cops would catch him. Look how fast this vehicle is going. But ultimately, it was his own recklessness that stopped this rampage cold. Oh, look out! Just ahead, on World's Wildest Police Video, a cop gets a shot. So it's going to be a blue crown Vic. From a crook packing heat. <laughs> and a closed convenience store has a grand opening. The perps are feeling the pressure. Next. Call him, call him. Between credit cards, debit cards, and online shopping, there's a lot less cash out there for criminals to target these days. And even though registers are getting emptier, there is one place crooks will always look for money, at ATMs. And there are over 400,000 of them in the United States. Irmo, South Carolina. This gas station is closed for the night, making the shop a perfect target for a smash and grab. The man in this truck, Dickie Thomas Boyd, wants to steal the ATM inside. The smash part is simple. But the grab will prove far more daunting. Of course, it doesn't help that Dickie is as smashed as the storefront. The drunken genius's first step is to get a cable out of his truck without breaking his neck. This is clearly a mastermind of work. Next, he ties the cable from the ATM to the truck. Then he gives it the gas. But it's not enough. His second try? Too much. The ATM tears loose. But so does the cable. The good news is, Dickie has a backup cable. The bad news, he gets halfway through tying it off before he realizes the ATM is loose on the floor. Now he just has to toss his prize in the truck and hightail it. After all, these things can't weigh more than four or 500 pounds. It quickly becomes a battle of man versus machine. And the smarter one is winning. But at least Dickie is getting some exercise in futility. Then just as the intrepid thief is starting to get good at this, he's rudely interrupted. A passing cop spots him and sends the boozer scrambling into the night. Unfortunately, Dickie's driving skills are no better than his smash and grab skills. Unable to hold the road, he skids off into a ditch and bumbles down the shoulder. He just went on. Moments later, his blood alcohol level catches up to him. and he turns a tree into kindling. It's a fitting end to his brilliant caper. Officers learned that Dickie had just been released on bond from another criminal misadventure. He was sure he could do better this time and work out all the kinks. The only thing that went wrong was everything. Tallahassee, Florida. Officer Chuck Perry was suspicious when he saw this car with two men loitering behind the local bank. 
and I'm at uh, Target San Pedro. But he never suspected that pulling them over gonna be a blue crown signal. could go sideways so quickly. <laughs> I've just been fired at. The car's been hit several times. When he sees the two pistols, only quick reflexes and a fast reverse save Perry from sudden death. I have been shot at. He knows he can't lose sight of that car until he gets back up. Black male wearing a beige shirt came out with the one shot about 10 times at me. What Perry doesn't know is that the gunman also has a high-powered rifle in the car. We are South Battle, and plenty more ammo that he's about to unload. The shots hit the car battery, damaging the electrical system. But as long as this cruiser can keep kicking, Perry won't give an inch. With his car staggering and backup converging, he warns his fellow officers. Moments later, police come upon some skid marks, and Perry can tell exactly what happened. The suspects lost control on this corner shot over the embankment and now their car lies upside down in this construction site bystanders think it's a traffic accident until they hear the tone of Chuck's voice Perry acts quickly to get the drop on the offenders but these wannabe bank robbers are too injured to fight As medics arrive, Perry relives his harrowing experience. Yeah, these guys are out of control, man. There's four holes all over my car. For his courage under fire, Officer Chuck Perry receives Florida's Law Enforcement Officer of the Year Award. And there's no doubt he earned every bit of it. Still to come on World's Wildest Police Video. A DUI dragnet catches a drunk. How much you been drinking? The hard way. An officer has his hands full. Better stop. With a bare ass jogger. And a carjacker pushes his hot ride to its boiling point. Kansas City, Kansas. At 3.45 in the morning, a checkpoint is proving highly successful at nabbing DUIs. After all, there isn't much traffic out at this hour, other than drunks. But as officers cuff this lush and load them into their paddy wagon, business picks up even more. A second cruiser parked behind the lead unit records a wayward driver insanely trying to pass on the right. For Officer Tim Fitzgerald, there's no time to get out of the way. He tries to get up from the hit, but quickly collapses in the road. In the mayhem, the handcuffed suspect thinks this might be a good time to split. One of the cops quickly scoops him up again. As the man is wrangled, Fitzgerald is tended to by one of his partners. Stay down. Stay down. What'd he get? Leg. Okay, just stay down. Not surprisingly, the woman driving the other car turns out to be highly intoxicated. Thanks to her deadly combination of speed and alcohol, one policeman ends up in the hospital, and 
and two very drunk drivers end up in jail. West Melbourne, Florida. Law enforcement officials are taught how to handle all kinds of different criminals. But let's face it, some they'd rather not handle at all. Police respond to a call about an early morning jogger who left his jogging clothes at home. The patrolman isn't sure why the breezy runner is swinging free, but he knows he has to take this exhibitionist off the streets. Stop. The streaker ignores the order. It's clear he's on something more than a runner's high. Better stop. This isn't exactly the kind of perp the cop wants to get into a wrestling match with. Fortunately, he has a plan B, a taser. And not just any taser, this one is equipped with a camera. Ironically, the camera is meant to cover the cop's butt and prove that someone isn't stopping without those 50,000 volts. The officer gets his man and his evidence. Thanks to his cracked police work, backup is soon on the scene. And this new dude is under wraps. He'll be charged for his public indecency. Better stop. And for resisting arrest. Fortunately for him, there's a spare jumpsuit at the jailhouse. Uh, Novosibirsk, Russia. A carjacker is busting out his best moves, trying to shake police. But so far, not so good. His sharp turns and erratic driving have done nothing to lose the pros behind him. Panicking, the thief roars down the wrong side of the road and around a blind curve. An oncoming car swerves hard to avoid a devastating collision. The Russian officers keep pace, still hot on the suspect's tail. But when he hits a straight stretch, he threatens to pull away for good until his flight hits a snag. At an intersection, a crossing car doesn't see the rapidly approaching runner. It all ends in a flash of dust and crumpled metal. Please come upon the innocent motorist first, who's been thrown out onto the curb. He's dazed, but still alive. They hurry to the perp next, before he can take off on foot. But once they see him, they know he's not going anywhere. His face has been ground into caviar, and he's happy to take their help. Maybe with some luck, he won't get shipped off to a gulag in Siberia. Because no matter how much he swerved, dodged, or sped, he could not outrun justice. Still to come, on world's wildest police videos, anarchists on the warpath rip a city to pieces. And a lady on the run makes a crushing miscalculation. The number of charges that stem from running from the cops can be staggering. Traffic offenses, felony evading, reckless endangerment, and even assault with a deadly weapon. But sometimes what runners do to themselves is much worse than any violation the cops can throw at them. Moses Lake, Washington. An officer stops a woman wanted for check forgery. Can I see your license? It's a foolish crime but not nearly as foolish as her escape attempt will be. The patrolman jumps in his squad car, 
scrambling to give chase. But she's not hard to follow. 